I'm gonna skip the example five. It's it's pretty explained pretty well in the book. Um, I'm gonna go right to check your progress five. These tend to start to be redundant. We start to see the same things over and over again. So check your prog progress five is on page 254. Susan needs to mail a package at the post office, pick up several items at the grocery store, drop off clothes at the dry cleaners, and make a deposit at her bank. The estimated driving time in minutes between each of these locations is given below. Use both of the algorithms from this section to design a route for Susan to follow that will help minimize her driving total driving time. Assume she must start from home and return home when her errands are done. So we have five locations. And so I'm just going to start by making a complete graph. And then I'm gonna label my five locations. I have home, post office, grocery store, dry cleaners, and the bank. And then I have to label my distances. So home to the post office is 14. Home to the grocery store is 12. Home to the dry cleaners is 20. And home to the bank is 23. Post office to the grocery store is eight. Post office to the dry cleaners is 12. Post office to the bank is 21. Grocery store to the dry cleaners is 18. Nope, just kidding. Grocery store to the dry cleaners is 17. Grocery store to the bank is 11. And then dry cleaners to the bank is the last one that we have, and that one is... 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're all there. Okay? So first I'm going to do the greedy algorithm. And now they told me that she needs to start from home. So if you use different colors, you don't have to keep redrawing this graph. So I'm going to start with home. I'm going to do home. The greedy algorithm, again, we're going to pick the shortest one. So 23, 20, 12, and 14. I'm going to have home to the grocery store. So there's 12. And then 8, 11, and 17. 8. And that takes me to the post office. From there, I can't go back to the um, home yet. I need to go post office to either the bank or the dry cleaner. Dry cleaner is closer. Dry cleaner is only 12. And now I'm going to go to the bank. And then from the bank back home. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What did I miss? Home. Oh, there's only six. Just kidding. We have five vertices, six things. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 73. So it would take her 73 minutes on this path, and that's using the greedy algorithm. Okay? So then I'm going to do the edge picking algorithm. So edge picking algorithm, again, they told me she needs to start from home. So I'm gonna start from home. But with the edge picking algorithm, it doesn't matter where you're starting with. You look on here and you find the shortest route. The shortest route on this whole page is eight. So it's going to take me from 
the grocery store to the post office. Next shortest route is this 11. So that's gonna take me from the grocery store to the bank. Grocery store is now used up, it's got two edges. After 11, the next shortest edge is 12. We have a couple of 12s. I can't use this one, because this one already has two edges from it, but I can use this one. But now the post office is used up. After 12, I have 14, can't use it. Then I have 17, can't use it. I have 18, I can't use that either because that would close this. Next is 20, I can use my 20. And now I've got three of them used, I have two left, so my last one is to connect these two. So my route, starting from home, I'm gonna have home, dry cleaner, post office, grocery store, bank, and then back home, one, two, three, four, five, six. And my minutes would be 20 and 12 and eight and 11 and 23, 30, 40, 50, 60, 74, 74 minutes. Two different routes. Greedy algorithm in this case gives you a shorter one. 